Hi there, all my talented, crafty friends. July 4th is just around the corner, so let's do a couple of reverse steak a posh plates. Orca Alley asked me to do a 4th of July plate. Here are two. I hope you're watching. Let me know how you like them. If you're ready, my friends, let's make a mess. The first thing you always need to do is wipe your plate down with alcohol to remove any dirt, oil, or fingerprints. I'm using a pre-moistened wipe. If you don't wish to see the captions, you have the ability to turn them off. Tap your screen, go into the settings icon in the top right corner, click on captions, then turn off captions. I'm going to brush on Polyvine's Multi-Surface Lacquer. This is a great primer for any shiny surface, such as glass or ceramic. I'm using the dead flat finish because I want to remove the shine. This will give paint or decoupage glue a great surface to adhere to. Paint won't chip, scratch, or peel. When applying, make sure to get the edge of the plate because we'll be adding a trim color later on. I painted one coat, let it dry for two hours, and then gave it another coat and let that dry for two hours as well. This and all the products you're going to see me use today came from decoupagenapkins.com, my wonderful sponsors. I'm going to give these plates a vintage vibe by adding a crackle finish. I'm using Pentart's Fine Line Crackle Varnish. It's a two-part system and I'm brushing on component number one. I'll let that dry for about an hour or so until it's clear. Where are you watching from? Let me know in the comments. It's fun to see what cities and countries you are all watching from. I'm filming from Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States. Once dry, I'll brush on component number two. This step is an amber color. Use thin, even strokes. If you get a buildup or drips anywhere, it'll show when dry. I'll let this dry for a couple of hours. Once dry, you'll see the cracks. After using fine line crackle varnish, only use Pentart's solvent based antique pastes and sealers. They are formulated to work together. Other brands of sealer may give you unwanted results. With any other decoupage project, you would paint white first, decoupage the picture, then do the crackle finish. But we're doing everything in reverse today. What would go on first will go on last. When you plan a reverse decoupage project, you have to stop and think how to layer it so you get the correct final result. I'm going to use Pentart Antique Paste in the color gold to accent my cracks. This is solvent based so it's safe to use on my crackle finish. I'm rubbing it into all the cracks and then wiping off the excess with a clean, dry, soft cloth. Please don't use a wet wipe. I'll let this dry for about an hour before moving on. DecoupageNapkins.com has such a great selection of napkins that you can purchase one at a time. They carry many other craft supplies such as rice paper, paint, clay, molds, and a great selection of polyvine products. Over 8,000 products and growing. They are wonderful to work with and will send your order out fast. They offer several automatic discounts when checking out. Subscribe to their newsletter by entering your email address and you'll receive 10% off your next order. They are truly your one-stop shop for craft supplies. Make sure you check them out. I'll be leaving links for all the products I use in my description box below. I'm using Pentart Clear Varnish in a matte finish. It's solvent based so it's safe to use over the fine line crackle finish. This will need to dry for a couple of hours. The best way to clean your brush after using the Pentart varnishes is with good old fashioned turpentine. I tried other solvent cleaners like paint thinner and mineral spirits, but the only one that cleans your brush well is the turpentine. I put a little in a glass jar and soak my brush overnight, then wash with soap and water the next day. I'm using a water brush to prep my rice paper. A water brush has a cartridge that you fill with water and then brush it on the napkin or rice paper. The water dispenses easily, so this is really convenient. You can find this in my description box below in my favorite tools section. 
just in case you want to check it out. There are two pictures and I'm using one per plate. I'm separating the pictures and removing all the white edges. I'm also fitting them to the inner circle of the plate. I want to make sure they don't peek over the edge and onto the rim of the plate. I'm going to be doing a series of reverse decoupage plates. Each video will be something different with different techniques to try. I haven't even decided how many I'm going to do yet. I'm just going to keep doing them until I run out of ideas. So help me out. If you have an idea for a plate, let me know in the comments. You'll want to subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. They're going to be a lot of fun. I'm sponging some paint around the inner circle of the plate. I'll be putting some rice paper in the center and this will cover up the edges of the paper. I'm using a sponge so there isn't a definite edge and just a gradual melding into the rice paper. And I'm using my favorite paints by Pentart. They are smooth and creamy with great coverage. I test all the products that I recommend in my videos. I won't recommend anything that I haven't used myself and prefer. If I'm recommending it, you can bet it's a great product. Each product will be listed in my description box below and will have a blue link to make it easy for you to find. Any of the links I provide are safe for you to click on. Paint is dry and everything is ready to go, so it's time to decoupage the rice paper to these plates. I'm spraying the rice paper with a little bit of water. This makes the paper pliable and easier to work with. It also creates a stronger bond with the adhesive by eliminating bubbles. I'm using Polyvine Heavy Duty Wood Varnish as my decoupage adhesive today. Don't let the name fool you, it's perfect for all surfaces. This is a great adhesive and varnish. It's heavily resistant to heat and water. So this is perfect for any projects that will be exposed to moisture or heat. All of the polyvine varnishes can double as a decoupage adhesive. So whatever varnish you'll be choosing to finish your project, you can also use to decoupage with. Trust me, this is so much better than the popular brand of decoupage glue. Once you try polyvine, you'll never use the other one again. I'm adding some water to a little bit of gold paint. I'm making it pretty runny. I'm going to add some splatters around the rim of the plate. And if your paint isn't thin, it won't splatter well. I'm using a fan brush, dipping it in the paint and tapping the brush on my forefinger. Any paint that splashes on the rice paper, I'm wiping off. If you're enjoying this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. And why not share this with a friend? Thanks for doing that. I'm stenciling some white stars around the rim of the plate. I measured and marked off where I want them to go. And I did this on both plates. Anytime you decoupage, you need white paint behind your image so all the colors will be vibrant. I'm painting Dixie Belle white chalk paint on the back of the plate on the inner circle just where the image is on both plates. I let all of my white paint dry for about an hour and now I'm going to cover the entire back side of the plate with the blue and red paints. We have the front side of the plates looking pretty. Now it's time to jazz up the back of these plates. I'm putting a great big star in the center of each plate and I'll be gilding it with gold metal flakes. I'm going to be doing this using two different techniques on each plate, so you can see the difference. I'm using deco foil transfer gel. It's thick and perfect to use with stencils. On the first plate, I'm applying it with a palette knife. I'm also doing some of the smaller stars on the rim of the plate in the same places that the ones on the front are. I put this on pretty thick, so it's going to have a little bit of a 3D look. Since it's so thick, it'll take overnight to dry. When dry, it will become clear and very sticky. 
On the red plate, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm sponging the gilding adhesive on instead of using a palette knife. It won't be as thick and the sponge creates more of a texture. Since this isn't as thick, it'll dry faster in about an hour or two. I'm adding the flakes and brushing them down with a dry paintbrush. It's okay if they overlap, all the excess will brush right off. As I'm brushing them down, I'm taking the edge of the brush and scraping off all the excess flakes. Don't throw away what you're brushing off. It can still be used. This is one of my favorite techniques. It's so easy and is so pretty. You can get gilding flakes in mixtures of gorgeous colors. So you are definitely not limited to just gold and silver. I'll make sure to leave you a link in my description box for all the gilding flakes. I'm wiping off the plate with a soft dry cloth to remove any excess flakes. I'm doing the same thing with the blue plate. This is the one that I put the adhesive down with a palette knife. This one will be a little bit smoother and have less texture. It'll also be a little more raised and 3D looking. Send me a comment and let me know what type of project you would like to see next. Decoupage, mixed media canvases, or more mason jar decorating. Your suggestion could be my very next video. I answer every single comment I receive. I love hearing from all of you and look forward to reading all your comments. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, more gold splatters all over the back of these plates. Tell me which one of these plates is your favorite. The pictures are similar, but different. I'm in love with the blue one. I like the way the gold shows up a little more. I'm getting ready to add a gold rim to the plates, but before I do that, I'm sanding off any glue or paint that's on the edge. I don't want it to interfere with my new paint. I'll give the very edge of the plate a coat of multi-surface lacquer to make sure my gold paint doesn't peel. I'll let that dry for two hours before adding my paint. I'm using my finger to add the gold edge. I feel like I have a little bit more control doing it that way versus a brush or sponge. Any paint that gets on the front of the plate, I'm wiping off right away. I'm using Pentart Gold Paint. This paint is amazing. Normally, metallic paints are very translucent and take several coats, sometimes four to five, depending on the brand. This paint never needs more than one or two coats. Since I'm using my finger, the paint isn't going on really even, so I'll need to add a second coat. I'll let this dry for several hours before moving on. Any gold paint that got on the back of the plates, I touched up with blue or red paint. I'm using Polyvine Heavy Duty Wood Varnish as my final finish. I'm also using Polyvine's Varnish Brush. This brush is fabulous. It's designed by Polyvine to use with their varnishes and greatly reduces brush strokes. I'll give both plates three coats to make sure they are well protected from moisture. Waiting one to two hours between coats. I'm using a satin finish, but the more coats you put on, the deeper the shine becomes. It gives you a beautiful finish. You will need to wait 48 to 72 hours cure time before you can use your gorgeous plate. This plate is now highly water resistant, but don't put it in a dishwasher or submerge it in water. This will be hand wash only. Don't forget, all of the wonderful products I'm using today can be found at my favorite place for craft supplies, decoupagenapkins.com. 
and I'll leave you links in my description box below. If you're enjoying these reverse decoupage plate videos, there's a special playlist with all the plate videos. Click the picture on the right to find that playlist, and I keep adding to it. Don't forget to let me know if you have a special idea for a reverse decoupage plate. I'm so happy you were here with me today, and thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to see you all next week. I'm working on a new project with you in mind. You can subscribe by clicking my picture in the top right corner. <laughs>